Hi, welcome to our Yoga for Everybody session today. My name is Skyla Ramirez. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's have a stand up out of our chairs. We are going to keep a chair nearby today. We have been doing some stretches in the in the end of class, working on the hips and the low back, but we are going to go ahead and stand and warm up the body, hips and shoulders before we isolate those hip stretches at the end of class. Let's start by taking our feet out wider than the hips. And from this position, lift your right toe and turn it out to the side. We're bending and straightening that right leg just a few times, noticing that as we straighten the leg, there is a point where you could lock the joint out. Let's keep the knee soft so that we don't go past that tipping point and lock out the joint. You're exhaling, coming into the lunge, Inhaling, straightening the leg, keeping the knee soft. Exhale, sink into the lunge. Inhale, straightening out the leg a bit. Exhale, sink. Inhale, straighten. One more, exhale, sink. From here, let's take both arms out at shoulder height. Turn the palms up, adding the arms into that fluid movement with our legs. Inhaling, right leg straight and both arms up and overhead, pressing the palms together. Exhale, turn the palms out, and then come down into that warrior two position, palms pressing down. Inhaling, slowly rising up, arms overhead, maybe even looking up at the fingertips. Then exhale, track the right hand down, finding our warrior two position. Inhaling, tracking the right hand, looking up, maybe even closing the eyes at the top of the breath. Exhale, pressing out with the palms of the hands, bending our right knee, pause in warrior two. Two more flows, inhale, tracking the hand, putting it all together. Exhale, slowly down into warrior two with a pause, noticing the approach of the next breath. Inhale, flow with that. In through the nose, exhale out from the throat, hold it in that warrior two position. From here, we're flipping our right palm, lowering the left hand down outside the left thigh. Let's reach straight up with the right hand, deepening the bend in our right knee, isolating that stretch around the right waistline and liver. Push your left hip down. Imagine you're trying to scoop up your right hip and then lunge a little more. Breathing deeply into the upper right lung. We can look up at the top of the breath, reach just a little more. Either hold it here or straighten the right leg. Both arms straight, extended in opposite direction, both legs straight. It's a lot like a reverse triangle. Big inhale, exhale. Coming down with the arms, both legs stay straight, knees are soft. We're tilting our tailbone back towards the left heel, extending the right armpit out over the right knee. Let's lower our hand down anywhere above or below the right kneecap. Turn the palm of the left hand so that the thumb is up as if you're able to give a thumbs up sign or wave at someone approaching you. Holding the left arm down, we can continue to reach back, pressing our shoulder away from the ear, keeping the right arm straight so that we are propping up the spine, keeping the vertebral column in alignment. We can keep that left arm where it is, or maybe lift it just a little higher, maybe even begin to rotate a little more with the palm, so now the palm could actually hold up the ceiling, reaching overhead, inhale, pull out of the left ribs. Option to stay there or take the arm overhead. As we extend that left arm over, we can lift the head a little bit, maybe even pressing our left ear against the inside of the arm. Push down into the outer blade of your left foot, and then reach overhead with the left fingertips. One more inhale here. Exhale, slowly come up to warrior two, pushing off the front leg, extending through both arms. 
Let's turn our right toe forward. Take the arms up overhead, palms facing in. On the next inhale, sweep the arms back for a chest expansion. We may lace the fingers together behind us or keep the arms stacked, left arm over right at your low back. Pulling the shoulder blades back, breathing deeply into the heart. Lift up the belly and the ribs, open the gut as the weather gets colder and colder, even though we are indoors, our bodies are picking up on these changes and metabolism can slow down. Take a breath into the chest, lift and open through the belly and the abdomen to encourage those energies that can help to speed up a healthy metabolism. One more inhale. Exhale, relax the shoulders in your belly. Let's extend the arms out, lift the left toe and pivot it out to the side. From here, hands come onto the waist, bending our left knee as we exhale. Inhale, straightening the leg, noticing that point just before we walk out, making that point where the knee is just slightly bent, our greatest stretch. Exhale. Bending the knee, inhaling, almost straightening the leg, doing this a few more times with our breath, maybe even closing the eyes, press into the inner blade of the left foot, the outer blade of the right foot. Let's extend our arms, adding in that flow with the arms overhead. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, lower down. Adding in the tracking, looking over to the left hand, inhaling, bringing it up. Exhale, lower down. Adding in the breath, inhale in through the nose. Exhale from the throat. Couple more, big breath in. Tracking our hand. Last one, inhale up. Exhale down. From here, we're flipping the left palm up, reaching down with the right hand. We continue to lunge forward, reaching straight up with the left hand, pushing the right hip down, or trying to sway the energy into that left hip, pressing the right hip down, bending the left knee a little more. Inhaling, reaching straight up with that left arm, looking up at the hand and breathing into the upper part of your lung. One more big breath. Option to straighten the left leg as well, extending our hands in opposite directions, pressing back through the knuckles, big inhale. Exhaling, bringing the arms to shoulder height. We're flipping over into that right hip, little bend in the left knee, feeling that this tailbone pulls back towards your right heel, extending with the left arm, reaching the armpit over the kneecap. Let's lower our left hand down either above the left knee or slide past the knee to the shin, keeping the arm straight without locking out the elbow. Let's turn our right thumb up pressing back through the fingertips, holding it there as we inhale. Imagine somebody pushing into your hand and you're trying to press against them as well, creating a little bit more rotation at the waist. Maybe taking the arm up a little higher. Also having the option to press as if you're holding a serving tray. Taking the arm overhead lifting our head so the right ear just grazes against that right arm. For the most part, if we feel this little bit of graze with the head, we will have the neck in a more neutral alignment. Continue to roll that right shoulder back, press the left shoulder forward, looking up towards the ceiling, push into the outer blade of the right foot, inhale with that energy pinned in the back foot, Reach overhead with your right arm to open the waist. When you're ready, let's slowly bend our left knee. Sweep it up into warrior two. Easy does it. Hold it there, big inhale. 
Exhale, both hands coming down onto the hips, swiveling the left toe forward, both toes forward. We have a standing straddle foundation, extending our arms straight up overhead. Big breath in, exhale in place. Inhale, sweep the arms back and around, either lacing the hands or this time, right arm on top of the left arm. Three big breaths to the center of the chest. Inhale, open the body, lift the ribs, lift the chin. Exhale, relax. Two more, big breath. Relax. Last one, big breath. Exhale, relax. Let's bring the heels in and keep the toes out. Bending our knees, seeing that they go in the same direction as our toes. We're taking our hands down onto the thighs. From here, you're welcome to turn the fingertips in and the elbows out. We're digging into a spiral line of energy that goes from opposite hip to opposite shoulder. When we do this, you might start to feel the stretch under your shoulder blades and in your low back. Let's look over the right shoulder and drop your left shoulder down. Maybe slide the hand to the inside of the left thigh. You could use a little leverage here, pushing the hand into the thigh and the thigh into the hand. Continue to press into your right foot so that that left hip stays lifted. Looking over our right shoulder, as we're pressing the left shoulder in, come to center, aligning our hips, maybe shift a little bit left and right. From our center point, we're turning maybe the right hand in a little more, looking over the left shoulder, dropping that right shoulder in just a little bit, push the hand into the inside of the thigh and the thigh into the hand. Lift the right hip, we're doing this by pushing away with the left foot, shifting the weight more over into the right foot. Feeling that lift in the right hip while we pull the right shoulder blade in. When you're ready, slowly bring it to center. Reposition the hips with a little shift left and right. All right, we are working this into a much bigger stretch along the sides of the spine, shoulders, and hips. Slowly inch the feet in. We have our knees softly bent and our toes are in so that maybe the toes are touching or maybe we just keep an inch or two of space between the toes and the heels. From here, exhale and relax your whole body. Hang the head loose, shake the head yes, and turn the head left and right. With the knees soft, and the hips slightly flipped back. We're bringing our right hand across to the left bicep and then bringing the left hand across to the right side, right bicep. Go ahead and sway left and right with the elbows as if you're trying to touch your elbows to the outside of the leg, just outside the calf and chin area. Just a few more sways. Take the elbows to the outside of the left leg, maybe even to the outside of the left knee. And as you do this, push hard into the inside left foot. Bend the right knee and notice that you're able to drop your right shoulder blade, maybe even the right elbow dropping towards your left big toe. Relax the head and neck. Big exhale from the throat. Two more like that. Inhale. Left leg stays straight. Right knee bent. Push into the inside of your left foot. When you're ready, both legs straight. Bring it to center. Stretching the other side. We're swaying over to the right. Right elbow to the outside of the right knee. Bending our left knee. Pushing down into the inside blade of the right foot and left foot, keeping the right leg straight, pressing the left elbow down, dropping the left shoulder, 
stretching towards the right foot. Relax the head and the neck. Continue to press into the inside blades of the feet. At least one big exhale, but maybe two. When you're ready, both legs straight. Let's bring it to center. Release the hands. Let's walk our hands to our shins first. Elbows out to the side. Pushing into our shins to straighten the arms. Propping up the spine. This is creating a deeper contraction in the back. When you're ready, walk the hands to the thighs. Propping up the spine. We're coming up slow to protect our blood pressure. On the next inhale, reverse swan dive. Taking the arms out, up and overhead, nice big reach. Exhale, relax the hands down. Let's roll our shoulders back, stepping your right foot back, getting into another spiral line in the front of the body. Let's bend our left knee, opening up the left arm. On the next inhale, sweep it back and around, reach it to the sky, then pat yourself on the back. Let's reach with our right hand, sweep that back and around, Tuck the knuckles into the low back. From here, we're pressing hard into that right heel. Right leg is straight. Left knee is bent. Pull back through the left elbow. The stretch is going from the back of the right heel. Up the calf. Around to the inside and outside of that right hip. And then it jumps over and up into your left armpit. Inhale, the stretch pulls out of that left elbow while we press down into the right foot. One more big breath here. Exhale, slowly take both hands to the low back. Inhaling, pull the shoulders back, lift the heart, straightening the left leg. We're pressing our hips back and lowering down as far as the body will go. Big exhale. Release the hands. One more big exhale. Bending the front knee. Push off, reverse swan dive. Let's switch sides. Step it forward. Neutral position, stepping our left leg back this time. Reaching up. From here, circle back with your right arm. Big inhale, reach, then pat yourself on the back. Right arm, left arm goes back and around, knuckles by the low back, pushing hard into that left foot, pulling up and out of the right armpit and elbow, lunging forward, maybe closing the eyes, identifying those energies in the body for the spiral line, pushing down hard into that left heel, the stretch moves up through the calf, to the inner and outer parts of the left knee, up into your hip, across to the right hip and pelvis, and then straight up into the right armpit. Big breath in and exhale. Let's sweep that right arm to the back. Chest expansion, big breath in. Straightening out the right leg, we're flipping our hips back. With your next exhale, lowering down into our pyramid expression with the open heart. Big inhale. Exhale, relax. Release the hands, big inhale. Exhale, relax. Let's bend our front knee. Inhale, rising all the way up, big breath in. And then exhale, stepping to center. Relax the hands and just breathe easy. Arms overhead. Exhale, sweep it back. Two more. Closing the eyes as we just give the body a little bit of time to find some neutral alignment. If there are any places in the body that slightly shifted, just allowing the body time to reacclimate to those feelings. Relax your body. We're using this time now to sit into our chairs, working on some deeper hip stretches. For our deeper hip stretches, we can always put something under the feet if that's more comfortable. From here, lift your left leg and pull the toe up. 
Now imagine you're trying to do a little soccer kick, rotating the entire left femur bone out so that you're sweeping over that right leg. Let's do one more big sweep, then pull the heel in to rest the left ankle on top of the right thigh. Let's sit nice and tall, take the right hand, flip it over, and under grip that left ankle. Take your left hand, push it onto the inside of your knee, slightly press down and away into that left leg and thigh. Inhaling, sitting tall. Exhale, lift up and pull in with the right hand. Press down and away with the left. And now lean forward. As we lean forward, you may notice this stretch really isolated in that left hip. The most important thing here is to protect the knee. Keep flattening the left foot so that any sort of twist that is in that hip is going to stay in the hip. Anytime the hips are tight, sometimes those at tightness will radiate down into the knees when we try to twist the hip joint. So pulling that toe up is going to shorten the muscles here, which is stabilizing the kneecap, the patella. Big inhale. Bigger exhale, relax the jaw, always working on that cranial sacral connection. If we relax the jaw, more potential to relax the pelvis and the hips. One more. Let's slowly come up out of our pigeon or figure four stretch. Roll out your ankle. It may have been working very hard to stabilize and assist the knee. We're rolling the ankle in both directions. When you're ready, release that foot onto the floor. Let's switch sides. Lifting our right toe and our right knee. We're turning the knee by way of the femur bone out to the side. Adding just a little bit of movement, just a sweeping kick past that left leg. And then take it over and set the right ankle on top of your left thigh. Keep pulling that right toe in. We're taking the right left hand under the right ankle, taking the right hand on the inside of the thigh bone, inhaling, sitting tall. As we pull in and press up with the left hand, we're pressing down and away with the right hand. Those are the Hatha elements, opposite energies. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale from the throat, lean forward. Inhale, lift a little bit. Exhale, sink with the breath. Just a couple more. Last one. Maybe hold it here just a little longer. You might notice already that one hip can feel a little tighter than the other, that's okay. Your more mobile hip is not necessarily your better hip. Sometimes too much mobility can cause an unstable hip joint. So just noticing those subtle differences, then letting it go, no judgment. One more breath. When you're ready, slowly come up out of that folded figure four position, uncross the legs, roll out that ankle, take it in one direction, and then the other. The ankles could have been working very hard in that stabilization. Both feet down on the floor in closing. Let's just do a little rocking through the belly and the spine to neutralize things. Hands on top of the knees, come forward, lift your heart, open the throat, inhale, and then exhale, straighten the arms, round your spine, chin to chest, cat pose. Inhale, rock forward, belly to thigh, lift your heart, open the throat, exhale, take it back, cat pose in the chair, chin to chest. Just one more of each, inhale forward, open up. Exhale back. 
Come forward, inhale. And now neutral spine, exhale. From here, we can take one big unifying breath together to close. Inhale up. Exhale back. And from here, we can close our session together. Namaste. I hope you go and enjoy this lovely autumn day. Hopefully, we'll see you in one of our Tuesday or Wednesday classes. Have a great day.